Okay, hey everybody. I am still here at Bass Pro Shops at the big car show, Cigars and Cars doing here today. And uh, you know me, when I'm cruising the car show, I usually stop and talk to individual people about cars that catch my attention. And uh, I just met Bobby here. Hello. Hey Bobby. How are you? And this right here. Okay, so as we're taking a look at this car, Bobby, first of all, you gotta tell me what this is, or at least what it was when it started life. So this is a 1964 Nova. Um, okay. I bought the car for $500. Oh. No back half, no... When, when did you end. buy it? 2019. Okay. Um, no frame, no nothing. Wow, okay. Um, the reason why I bought the car is my dad bought something similar to this in 1978. He was always a race car guy. Mm -hmm. Built a dragster, built an engine for the dragster, then he passed away. I got the engine. Engine was just sitting there. He passed away in 2016. He built a short block of this in 2015. Okay, so wait a second. Your your dad's the one that built this motor. The short block of it. Yep. Okay. And it was just sitting there since 2015. So in 2019, I decided to build a car in memory of him. Bought a bunch of parts. Took some parts from my race car and put this all together. And, and uh, this is just kind of resembles a, a car that he bought in 1978. So. One of the things that I like to ask people that have cars, especially a car like this, obviously there's a pretty high degree of automotive passion involved in a car like this. And it sounds to me like it got passed on to you from your dad. Absolutely. I don't do it for a living. I do it for fun. Yeah. Um, this car here, then like the, my, my race car and a couple other cars, I did everything on this car. I even painted this car in my garage. Oh, really? Bought all the paint and everything for 600 bucks on Amazon. Holy mackerel. Um, built the whole back of the car, did the oh, frame roll Okay, let, let's let's walk this car a little bit. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so the motor, you it's had a, you had the short block, so you finished it off. Yeah, it's a 496 cubic inch motor he built for his dragster, had a single carb on it. So okay. I pulled the intake, the cam, put a blower on it, put a blower cam in it. So the downside to this is it's a 12 and a half to one big block blower straight up so we had to go E85 which I'm not a uh, E85 fan but we're yeah. on E85 yeah so if you look right here at these two hoses they head to the back there's a second radiator underneath the back uh -huh. of the car so we can uh -huh. drive it without it getting hot yeah and uh have you dynoed the motor we uh dynoed just the engine not in there it okay it's uh, right at 900 I tell everybody 900 but it was just under 900 that will get you to the grocery store yeah yeah it runs yeah. pretty good yeah okay so let's keep walking because something that we were just talking about off camera, the stance on the car, this is a gasser inspired. It is, it is a straight axle, rough riding, old school drag gasser. The only difference is our wheels stick out in the back, which kind of converts us over to a street freak. Yeah. Wow. You got nitrous in this? That is for the air shifter. Oh. So a lot of the parts in this car come from the race car as we were upgrading the race car. I even put a uh, stereo on it, so it's got a oh. Bluetooth like, stereo in like there. Like you can actually hear that? Yeah, not real well. Yeah. <laughs> but it's there for looks. Oh, man. Let's let's come around the back because there's something back here you showed me, and I want to get that on camera. So tell us, tell us what this is back here. So my dad was Kenny Bridges. Um, he had a 64 Nova. He street raced in Vegas for a long time. They called the car the Schmoo. This is the Schmoo character. My dad's nickname was Schmooey, so I registered a car under his nickname. I uh, he, love it. He passed away unexpectedly, unexpectedly, and we just loved him to death. We were car guys. Yeah. Me and him did all the car stuff. Yeah. So I wanted to do something in honor of him. And this is why we drag it around the car show, show it up for him. Well, like I was saying earlier, you know, the story is as interesting as the car itself. Yeah. You know, and when it's something that has this kind of depth of emotion to it, man, that's that's special. It was a, a big deal. He was uh, he was definitely my best buddy. He, we, yeah. we drag raced on uh, Malibu and he kind of helped me through that. Yeah. I still have the Malibu, but this was more in his yeah. honor, especially with the engine so Yeah. As far as I, I call it, the heart of the car has got him in it. Yeah. So. You know what? They talk a lot these days about privilege. And having a dad like that's a privilege. I, 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 he was an ex-Marine, great guy. Yeah. Loved him. Loved him. Miss him dearly. Love, love that story. I couldn't agree with him more. I had an awesome dad. 
So what a privilege to be able to say that we that we did. Very lucky, you know? I agree. Um, you said you got something else in the garage at home? You got a Malibu? I got a uh, 79 Malibu. We actually run uh, uh, real low sevens in that. We, we started wow. a uh, uh, car club, I guess you'd call it bottom 10 racing back in the day. Got yeah. street outlaws and all that. Yeah. And then just tried to keep up with everybody. Once it got down in the low sevens at 200 miles an hour, I'm like, well, this is too fast for me. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah. So the car just sits now. Yeah. Actually, this one's mine too, so I just drive this one. This is your daily? Nah. This is just something we drive with AC, I guess. Well, My kids wanted to bring it up. It ain't no slouch. No, these things are fast. It's yeah. faster than I thought it would be. Yeah, yeah. And it, that's a kind of a fun horsepower because it's very comfortable yeah. horsepower. You know? I think this one's fast. Yeah. This is really a nice build. Love the color choice. I have a 72 Pantera uh, in yellow. So uh, I am with you on that. Man, this is such a cool car. Uh, I really love it. I love the gasser inspired. But like I said, I, I love the story. I love it. I, I, I appreciate you. And, yeah. Uh, glad, to, glad to talk about it anytime anybody wants to listen. Well, thanks, Bobby, for sharing your car, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.